Hello everyone and welcome back. This is number seven of my abstract mini-series and in this video we're going to talk about the magic of a limited palette. <laughs> you know when it comes to uh, colour mixing and what palette you use sometimes it can be a little bit confusing but I'm going to show you some fantastic ways that you can use just a small amount of colours to get an amazing amount of different colours from those. So let's get started and see what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to be talking about a limited palette. Now this could mean lots of different things. <laughs> a limited to what? Because if you take our main primary colours of red, yellow and blue, then out of those three colours, we can create every colour in the rainbow by just mixing them together. You know, mixing the uh, blue with the yellow will give you the greens. Mixing the, um, the yellow with the red is going to give you the oranges, etc. So it's called a limited palette, but it's really not. <laughs> It gives you an enormous amount of scope. I've got a few examples here. Um, here's one. Um, this is just using ultramarine blue. And if we were to mix that with some black and some red, we can get a lot of different variations. Um, here's another one that I want to show you. Um, again, I'll just turn it around this way. This is ultramarine blue. Um, this is um, lemon yellow and this is like a rose red and mixing these together gives us amazing colours. Um, here's another one, similar thing, this is now ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow and cadmium red. You can get a massive variation of um, colours. So we're just going to have a little start on that. And I'm going to show you how you can just take a few colours, those three colours, and get some fantastic effects and how you can harmonise those colours in your painting. OK, so I've just got a, a piece of paper and before you start any painting, this is a really good idea to do. Um, if you choose your palette, then see what they can do if you mix them together and if you mix them with black or white. So I'm just going to stay with the red, yellow and blue. You can try whatever colours you like. So um, I'm just going to, I've got some, a couple of flat black brushes here. If I was to start with the blue, um, this is an ultramarine blue and I'm just going to put the blue up here. OK, now if I was to mix then the blue with the red, and this is a, a cadmium red, it's going to go quite um, like a violet, a dark violet. OK, then if I was to mix that with a little bit of white, I'm going to have a lighter violet. A little bit more white in there so you can really see it. I can go lighter still, adding white. So you want the colours that you're using plus black and white to see what going, is going to happen. So I can go lighter and lighter, adding more and more white. Okay, then um, for example, if I was to mix then. The red and the blue again, so let's just do that here. Right, I'm going to come up here. And I was to put some black in it, obviously it's going to go darker. So if you want some light and shade, then you can mix a little bit of the black with it. And then what's interesting is even though I put a little bit of black in that, if I was then to put some white in it, I'll change the tone completely. So let me do that here. Now, simply from 
slightly different to that one, add a little bit more white. Simply by using ultramarine and cadmium red, you have got a whole different range of colours. So let me just take that off here and let's go to uh, mixing the red. So this is just the pure red. Okay, now if I was to put um, a little bit of black with that, I'm obviously going to take it a lot darker. But the range of colours that you can get from just having a few colours is fantastic. And it also means that you don't need to go and spend a huge amount of money on masses and masses of colours. Because literally, if you get your basics, you can mix any colour that you want. OK, you might get some different blues. For example, you might get ultramarine blue and you might get cerulean blue or phalo blue. You don't need more than that because with those colours then you can mix loads of different things. You might get a cadmium red, you might get a magenta, you might get a rose red. So, you know, keep it limited with the yellow. You might get a lemon yellow and a cadmium yellow. And then you can mix, obviously, black and white. But you don't need hundreds of paints to get hundreds of colours. <laughs> So I've mixed that with a little bit of a black. Now what would happen if I put a little bit of white with this? And it's obviously going to go pink, but it's going to be a nice sort of um, tone pink, which is really rather nice. Okay, go a little bit more white. And really and truly, if before you start your painting, you do a few of these swatches, just to see what your palette will do, which when you come actually to do your painting, you can say, oh, you know what, that colour will look really nice. And you've already mixed it so you know what you're doing. So that's with, um, that's with some red. Now let's just take that off. Hang on a second. Then obviously if we mix um, the red and yellow together, Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to put the yellow down. <laughs> Mixed it with red before I started. Okay, so we've got some yellow here. So I can mix the yellow with the red. And obviously, I'm going to get, dependent on how much red I put in, I'm going to get an orange. This is quite a deep orange. What a beautiful colour. Isn't that lovely? Then I might add some white to that. I'm just doing a few here just to give you an example. Um, you know, you can spend some time on experimenting this yourself, experimenting with this yourself, because it, it, apart from anything else, it's really good fun. So there, I've got a really nice sort of peachy, peachy pink. That's just adding white. Now, let's see with the yellow if, obviously, if I'm going to mix some uh, white with it, it's going to go lighter naturally. So you're going to get some nice, very pale, lovely yellows with that, and I can go lighter. Then if I was to mix some black with it, you're going to get kind of like a nice sort of olivey green, light olivey green colour. And actually, mixing black with yellow, you get some beautiful greens. And dependent on the yellow, for example, if you were to mix um, yellow ochre with a little bit of black, it's wonderful. If you were to mix cadmium, well, we can, we can do it, cadmium yellow with some black, you get a similar colour to yellow ochre. So that's mixing it with a bit of black. Let's do a little bit more and I'll show you what I mean. Now this is a bit of a darker green. Can you see how lovely those colours are? 
let's go a bit darker. And then what you can do once you have had a little play with this is then try mixing some of the reds into the green. So I'll try that now. So I'm going to put a bit of the red into the green and it's going to be um, a nice interesting sort of autumny colour red. Let's put that up here. See what I mean? Then I could add white to that. So you can play and play and play around with it. Oof, you know, so many colours. And it familiarises yourself. I've added a little bit of white to that, so we're kind of getting to a bit of a fleshy colour. Let's add a little bit more white. See what happens there. That's gone a shade lighter. So you're getting some nice tones and some differences. Um, then let's try, which I haven't done yet, let's try mixing the blue, some of the blue, with the yellow. And obviously we're going to get the green. And a different colour green than we had before. This is like, well, I think, what you might call a hooker's green. Lovely that word. <laughs> you see? That's just mixing the yellow and the blue together. Then we could add a little bit of white to that. And we're going to go lighter, obviously. It's going to be slightly different from the others. I could then mix a little bit of black with that. And you see how you can just keep playing and playing and discover so many beautiful colours. Just another interesting tone. Let's go a bit darker. Add a bit more blue. And it's kind of like a nice grey green. Then let's just do one other. Oh, you're getting the gist of this. Um, really, the playtime on this is fantastic. I'm going to mix the blue and the yellow again. Make it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. And we're going to get like a blue, petrol colour blue. Let's come here. You see? Again, a little bit more white. How you can get some beautiful tones and so many colours, and whatever colour, let's go with that, whatever colour you're using in your in your palette, let's put some black with that, um, do this little exercise so you get very, very familiar with your colours and what they're capable of doing. And you'll amaze yourself, honestly, I promise you. <laughs> it's such a good idea because... The more familiar you are with your colours, um, the better it's going to be. And the more confident you will feel when you come to your painting. And, you know, you're thinking, God, it does need something extra. Well, if you've gone through what your colours can do, you can find that extra. So have a play with your colour mixing to find your palette and you, you, that palette could be anything um, you know you might go for you know a completely different kind of colour range to this but if you add them together you'll get certain colours if you um, add them with black or with white you'll get different tones so um, you'll really enjoy this whole process and then in the next video, we're going to have a look at different things that acrylics can do. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I will see you on the next video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what colours that you've used, if you're happy with it, how you've enjoyed it. And um, obviously, if you like the video, then give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to go to my website, I've got a free ebook on colour mixing, which covers this subject. <laughs> Uh, which you can download. I've also got a free print.
Plus, I have an online course called Discover the Wonder of Colour, and it goes into this whole process in great depth, which I'll leave the link um, in the information below. So I look forward to seeing you next time and all the best. Take care. Bye for now.